The simplest way to look at two categorical variables at once is with what's called a two-way table or contingency table, which we see here. In the margins of such a table, we have totals, which gives us what's called a marginal distribution. In this two-way table, we're looking at people aboard the Titanic, separated by the ticket class they belong to and their survival status, whether they survived the sinking or did not. Each of these cells gives us the number of people who had two particular values for these categorical variables. For example, in this cell, we see 118 survivors were second-class passengers. But in the margins, we see the number of people who had a particular value of a single categorical variable. We see the distribution of ticket class in the bottom margin without regard to survival status, and we see the distribution of survival status in the right-end margin without regard to ticket class. Suppose we're asked to use this two-way table to construct a graph for the marginal distribution of ticket class. We have the raw counts of the ticket class distribution here, so we could use those to create a bar chart, but let's say we wanted to use percents, so we'd have to compute those first. Then we might jot down another table to store this information. The percentage of people who were first class passengers would be the number of people in the first class, which was 325 we can see from the marginal distribution, divided by the total number of people, 2,201. And then in second class, there were a total of 285 people, and we would divide that by 2,201 to get the percentage, and so on. If you run all the numbers, we get the percents for the marginal distribution of ticket class. Again, that's without regard to survival status. Using these percents, we determine the heights of the bars corresponding to each of these ticket classes, and we can use those in a bar chart for the data. So to construct this bar chart for the categorical variable of ticket class, we'll need a y-axis representing our percents and an x-axis where we'll put the bars, each bar representing one of these ticket classes. I'll throw down the axis labels here. Again, the y-axis will have our percents and on the x-axis we'll have the different ticket classes. The highest percent that we have in the marginal distribution is 40.2%. So perhaps we'll go up to 50% on the y-axis. So if we say this at the top is 50%, perhaps we can count up by 10 percentage points. So we'll say 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. I'm just eyeballing this so it doesn't look perfect, but this is how it would be if you were doing it by hand without a ruler. Now let's go ahead and draw our bars for each ticket class and then we will label them. The first class had 14.8% of the passengers, so we probably need to go up to around here. That's around 15%, so just eyeballing it right around there. The second class made up about 12.9% of the total total number of passengers, so that's going to be a little bit less than this. It's a little bit over 10%, so maybe it's right about there. Remember when you're drawing these out, the bars should have the same width. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, but you want to make them about the same, otherwise your chart's going to look really bad. Definitely best to do it with a ruler. Third class made up about 32.1%, so it's a little bit above this 30%, maybe it's right around there. And then finally, the crew made up about 40.2%, so that'll be just a little bit above the 40% mark. And that's my freehand relative frequency bar chart for the marginal distribution, which again we were able to figure out from this two-way table. Sometimes people will also like to put the actual counts or percentages used for the bars directly above them, and I would say that's particularly nice when it's hand-drawn because the actual percentages can help make up for any deficiencies in your freehand measurements. The bar chart is a great option if you have to construct a chart by hand, but if you're not doing it by hand, you could also use a pie chart and this is what that would look like. So this is a pie chart for this marginal distribution of ticket class. That's how to make a bar chart for a marginal distribution from a two-way table. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.